Students of the law school at La Sabana University participated in the celebration of the 50th anniversary of the International Law Contest Philip C. Gisup Mut Court Competition, which took place at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. In this year's case, the power and authority of the International Court of Justice was presented as the main subject in the context of humanitarian intervention, the role of peace missions of the United Nations, and the death penalty, among other topics. All the questions that the judges asked me, um, I really had the way to answer to them, and I get to see that and to realize that all the um, principles, all the bases that the university give us are, well, are, are very, very strong. It is the first time that the university participates in an English-speaking moot court competition where the contestants prepare both roles of judgment, applicant and respondent, in front of a panel of expert judges in international law fields. I may assure that with these strategies, students are gaining a lot in their personal and academic performance as lawyers. Moot court competitions develop in the students the uh, all virtues and all um, competences that uh, today's or uh, today's world's leaders and lawyers need. In the oral phase, they have to train every day, repeating their arguments, in order to answer all the questions that the court may ask them in the in the moot court. So, for that reason, their preparation not only was very very exhausted, but it was the preparation was every day and continuous and without rest. So, given the, the competence that they have acquired during this contest, I'm sure that they're going to have an excellent performance as lawyers. Students do the exposition of the case in a limited amount of time, in which, besides exposing the different arguments, they answer the questions asked by the experts, who at the same time, after finishing each case, discuss and evaluate the team performance. And at the beginning, it was just the memorial part that, um, that entails a lot of investigation and sacrifice. And then in the last part, we have the oral trainings that are really, really strong. And it um, demonstrates the sacrifice that all of the members of the group and the same uh, coaches have put into this our, in our time. And I think that it will be demonstrated in the results of the, com of the, com of the competition. But in any case, if uh, the group does not win, it, uh, it is demonstrated that the sacrifice was made. One of the aspects highlighted by the judges at the end of the event was the preparation that the students representing the Savannah assumed as a team. Whenever they had to confront the judges and defend their arguments, the respect they showed as they talked to the experts during the simulations, as well as the professional attitude that they not let them fail in front of the difficulties, the questions, and the demanding judges. At present, it's much better. It is one of the best tools to uh, train good lawyers the moot courts in, in, in all fields, not only in international law, but all in, also in other fields, because the students learn uh, to, to study uh, a problem in depth and to be able not only to know it, but only to also to present the knowledge. And knowing and presenting your knowledge uh, uh, requires a lot of training. The Savannah Jesup team 2009 not only got the second place, but also the recognition of the contest's international organization, who, through their executive director, sent to the members of the team an invitation to assist the Washington, D.C. international rounds, highlighting the great value of the results, even though this was the first time that the university participated in this competition.